Okay, now I've already taken this model off the bed, cleaned it up, sanded it, and primed it with my favorite primer. Links are in the description. It's a Tamiya Fine Primer. And I'm just painting up the different pieces and getting it as close as I can get to some of my references. And I might weather this later on. I don't know. But the pieces are going up rather nicely. I'm adding a little detail here. Uh, any amount of detail you can add, it just makes the model just seem that more real. Now. I was not happy with the seams. So this is after I painted it, which made it a problem because I needed to repaint parts of it. And I use this epoxy sculpt. And I really love this stuff because you sort of wet your finger and you can really smooth it and get into those cracks. And since it's like an epoxy, you can then sand it later. So I get it as close as I can. And you can see it's not too bad. It's a little bit raised. What's helping me is this is a leather coat, so it could look just like a fold, but I am going to sand it and then go over it again with some paint, trying not to ruin the paint job that I already put on it. This is one of those things you just have to, you know, if you realize you made a mistake, go back over and paint over it. Now I'm painting in some detail on the rocket pack, and uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit of weathering to this. Not a ton. I've decided not to weather this model up as I usually do or add sort of like painted highlights. I kind of like it just like this classic looking simple statue. But still, the details are then what will help there. Now the eyes. This is an eye paint job that I can handle because I guess technically it isn't eyes. It's just two big lenses. So I am able to get in there. I'm still using a fine brush. I'm using that... Um, to, not Tamaya, but the uh, Vallejo paint that I like because you can go on that with one coat and it just really does a fantastic job. Now for the straps, this uh, these are the straps that hold on the jetpack and uh, they're a little bit darker and I think I, I like how those turned out and uh, it helps things stand out. Now I was not looking forward to painting this gun because you know the glove the glove is in there it's so small and tiny but with the right brush and taking my time uh, I was able to get into all the cracks and crevices and the details now my tongue dried out because it was like sticking out like you do when you're trying to do something detailed but I managed to get the gun painted I think pretty good pretty good I was uh, I was happy with it in the end and uh, it looks pretty sharp it looks pretty sharp so much detail in there now it's time to glue some pieces together while I watch Big Mouth on my phone <laughs> and weather this guy up a little bit again not a ton but I did wanted to add some wear to the rocket pack since you know fire shoots out there and I thought just a little bit to knock that silver back uh, would really help make it look you know just a little bit more realistic and again I'm just using some cheap acrylics water and then you know sort of wiping away some of it with a rag it's time to drop in the fire and this looks really really good I was super happy with how this turned out I got a little bit of glue in each little key and they pop right in so now I'm gonna add way too much super glue <laughs> to that and mount the helmet and super happy with how that helmet turned out now next up what we're going to need to do is put the jetpack on and for that we're going to put some glue there i did break that key away so it would fit better and put it on the back here now for the base i did have to add this tile because the model sits so forward in its pose it would topple over us but using this piece of tile helps keep everything super secure and doesn't let it topple over. 